In this video, we will show you how to replace the converter of your puck press. You need to order a replacement converter with the product code displayed on screen. The tools you need during the following instruction are the Allen key that comes with the puck press, a Phillips screwdriver, and a small flat screwdriver or box cutter. Start with removing the small cover cap from the Allen screw. Press the set button once. The tamper base will come down and CL will appear on the display. Loosen the tamper base Allen screw and remove it. Loosen the tamper base from the thread by hand, clockwise. Set the power button to zero and wait till the display goes off. Turn the puck press upside down and remove the plug from the socket. Remove the rubber cover. Loosen the ground wire screw and remove it. Loosen the six top plate screws. Remove the top plate. Unclip the cable connector. Loosen the four drive unit screws. Pull out the drive unit and loosen the ground wire screw. Now you can remove the old drive unit completely. Loosen the four screws from the converter. Unclip the connector from the junction box. Remove the old converter and unclip the connector from the AC side. Unclip the connector from the junction box. Reconnect the cable to the junction box. Reconnect the AC cable and put the new converter back in place. Reconnect the cable to the junction box. Tighten the four converter screws. Tighten the ground wire screw and put the drive unit back in place. Reconnect the cable connector. Tighten the four drive unit screws. Put the top plate back in place. Tighten the six top plate screws. Tighten the ground wire screw.
put the rubber cover back in place. Install the power cord and turn on the puck press. Tighten the tamper base counterclockwise. Put back the tamper base Allen screw and tighten it. Press the set button. The tamper base goes back up. Put back the small cover cap from the Allen screw. Test the drive unit on proper functioning with your portafilter. Excellent! Let's tamp!